Welcome back to Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. We're in Toa Factory, where Haiji says his secret weapon is waiting. And we got some exploring to do before we head onwards. Let's check out the map, because this area is pretty complex, and... I don't dislike this area. I just don't think it's as good as the rest of Chapter 4. It's a little bit long-winded, it's a little bit frustrating at times. But from a narrative perspective, I do like what happens in this area, and I like it being in the game, if that makes sense. Mm, there it is. And let's keep moving forward. Grab ourselves a mono mono machine, which was of no use, even though we only have five break ammo, it decided to give us burn ammunition. That's fine. It's fine. Will we be more lucky here, is the question, and the answer is... Well, I probably didn't need that much Link ammo anyway, but there's a reason that they gave that to us. I see. That door over there opens when someone steps on the switch. Alright, Four Eyes, step on the switch. Then Kamaru and I can go through. Uh, that would leave me behind! <laughs> Damn, here they come! We gotta run for now. Hey! I know. We can use a Monokuma to press the switch. That's using your brain, Kamaru. And I do find it amazing that I dislike Haiji even more with every sentence that he speaks. Why couldn't he stand on the switch so we could leave him behind? Anyway, quite a straightforward. I'm not sure you can really call it a puzzle. Just have to link the Monokuma. There is nothing here, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. You would think they would put something there, but they didn't. Anyway, let's move onwards. Is this factory making some kind of machine? Looks like it. Hmm, well, it certainly looks like a conveyor belt. Let's grab our first collectible of the day here. Memoirs of a factory employee. The moment I saw that business proposal, time just stopped. I understood immediately. In the end, I was just a frog in a well, but even so, just thinking about being involved in this kind of work makes me shudder with excitement. I want to pour my life into this job. If this gets out to the public, then every human on the planet will be more well off, and we will work tirelessly to make this work. I'm sure some will complain, bringing up safety concerns with the fact that the inner body is extraordinarily resilient, but it won't be a problem. I don't lend an ear to boring naysayers. I feel like that's the first overly positive note or memoir that we've read over the course of this game. But apparently, job satisfaction here at Toa Factory is quite high. And they're doing something that will change the world. So we have a room up ahead there. We need to head this way to proceed. Let's head into block three. Got another save point. Really handing those out quite frequently. Toa Group's scale. It was declared earlier this month that the largest household electric appliance manufacturing company, Kanto, has been acquired by Toa Group. This brings the number of subsidiaries owned by Toa Group up to 8,000. Toa Group, and by extension Toa City, has been receiving a lot of attention as of late. 8,000? How big a scale are they thinking? You guys better not be planning world domination. Huh. <laughs> world domination. Sounds swell. If we could completely control all the brats in the world, and the adults, that'd be nice. So it's just as I thought. That's not it. I'm just kidding. Toa Group isn't some evil corporation straight out of a movie. It's a financial group with a simple policy and unreasonable assets. Normal, to a T. Aside from all the greed driving me to make this company the largest in the world, of course. Don't, mess with me. Just don't joke with me, and no good corporation like yours is no match for Togami Corporation. Hmm? You from the Togami family? Well, not yet, but I'm planning to become one. You're kidding me, right? What the hell is this chick talking about? <laughs> it's a long story, just let it go. Let's... Well, anyway, there's no dangerous ulterior motives behind Toa Group, uh, currently. Uh, hold on, currently? So you used to have dangerous ambitions? Well, we may be nobles now, but that doesn't mean we didn't start at the bottom like everyone else. 
I'm sure Toa Group was rather ambitious when they were still a startup. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when your father was chairman, before all this happened. Who knows, I wasn't exactly deeply involved with the business side of Toa. I have no idea. But it is true that Toa was working to put the incident in the past. Amazing. That's when they made the air purifiers, right? Let's see. We also detoxify seawater and replant forests. We're honestly pretty good people. It's far too good people? The moment you started using Monokumas as guards, you stopped being good. Jeez, you're a pushy one, aren't you? I already told you, you gotta trust me on this one. And we should trust you just because you say so? Toko? Toko, I know how you feel, but now's not the time for this. Hmm. <laughs> I know. But, but Kamaru, you can't trust this guy. The moment you let your guard down, he he'll touch your butt. Hey. On my honor, I promise I'm not into her. Specifically. What I'm trying to say is, the younger they are, the better it is for me. That is a hardcore Lolita complex. The real deal. But I mean, the fact that he admits it, it's kind of attractive. You are really terrible at picking men. Yeah, remember when I said I don't like Haiji? I don't like Haiji. Not one bit. It also really bothers me that we've talked about Toa Group a little bit now, and we still don't get any idea of what he really does. I feel like he's just a bit of a spoiled rich kid. There's not much that makes uh, Haiji appeal to me, personally, and I don't think I know anyone who actually does like him. <laughs> Alright, let's be careful of these lasers. Grab these mono mono machines. Playing it a little risky here. But the closer you are to the center, the less likely you are to get hit by the lasers in general. Okay, that was close, but we'll take it. We need to head through this way to grab ourselves another collectible, which is the one that we saw right at the beginning of the video. Let's just be a little patient about it. There we go. Hit list. Demon name, Kirihita Tain. Real name, Fuyuhito Kirigiri. A wrinkly old demon who's been around, like, forever. It's got this organ that makes its head and the back of its ears super stinky, so be careful when you get too close. There's also a rumor that it's one of the founders of that detective library with all the books and stuff. You should read Danganronpa Kirigiri to know more. Hunting Grounds, Toa Bookstore. That's Kyoko Kirigiri's grandfather. We know her father quite well. But after all, it was her grandfather that led her to becoming a detective. I'm sure we do find out more in Danganronpa Kirigiri. I haven't read it. I'm not sure if it has an official English localization. A lot of the light novels and such don't. I would be interested in reading it though, and there's also one for Byakuya called Danganronpa Togami, which I would also like to check out. Hey, we got some break ammo, nice. Thank you, Toko. So we've got our first challenge room of the day here, and this one is quite straightforward. Let's start by linking this guy. The game really wants us to remember that we have Link now. We'll need to have you stand on the switch so that we can get through this door. And then we can knock back the ball into everybody else and get the clear. And I'll take a uh, hundred and fifty-six monocoins. And that does it for the first floor. Alright, let's use the elevator to go down. That's generally what elevators are for, IG, but perhaps sometimes going up as well. What's wrong? Don't you think this is strange? It's just like I thought. This place is fishy. Monokuma's guarding the place. What they're making at this factory? Hey, what's the deal? The adults are all waiting for us back at base. Let's hurry up and get the trump card. I can finally show them hope. Toko, what do you think? 
We've come this far. There's no choice but to go for it. I'll be the judge of this hope. Alright. Now down onto the second floor. More burn ammo that we don't need. Guess it really wants us using burn for some reason. There's a collectible around the corner there. Let's just be careful not to get spotted by the laser. Probably didn't need to run this long way. In fact, I'm probably... Gonna come quite close to being detected there. Ooh, needs to be careful with this. I feel like I've seen these parts coming out somewhere before. Is it just me? Toko's figured it out, and you might have by now as well. But let's um keep the mystery. Really, game? Okay. Ow. Rude. Sorry. I'll make sure they don't touch me this time around. Let's just grab this collectible. It's Socky the Sock again. She calls me unfashionable. You only look good in white socks if your virtue is still white, honey. Jeez. Socky got sassy. Right, so let's try and get through here without being detected again. Got another challenge room over there. Let's grab these mono mono machines. We might as well. They're here after all. Some link, some paralyze. Let's head over to block five for another challenge room. It's that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. Don't you think it's kind of strange how these challenge rooms are set up, even here in Toa Factory, a place where only apparently Haiji and his father had access to? Let's try using a normal Monokuma. As for this challenge, we need to destroy them all with electricity. This one is pretty straightforward, but it's just reminding us that we have access to a fair few different truth bullets and different puzzle elements, which I like. Let's link you. And send you over to stand on this puddle here. Then we can stand on this switch, giving us a clear shot, and paralyze them all. Two level ups for that, my goodness. Those extra experience skills are really good. Can I please take this coin? Thank you. And once again, let's move on. And try not to get detected. Here's our second challenge room of the floor. Okay, good, we didn't get detected. Not really much that these mono mono machines can give us at this point. It looks complicated, but if you do it just right, you can wipe out all of them at once. Okay, we need to destroy them all at once, and in fact, I want to have another look at this because I don't think I quite know what I'm supposed to be doing here yet. I think I need to sneak around here. And perhaps link that Monokuma? Yeah, I think I've worked it out. For this one, we need to be a little careful not to get detected. We don't want to get spotted by the ball or the bomber here. So we'll wait till it's turned. Let's not sneak too far. That was the wrong bullet. Let's try link. And have you... Oh, wait, the switch is over this way. Let's have you stand... On this switch, then we will move that, which should attract the bomber. Let's not get spotted by the ball. Let's dance you and knock you back into the bomber. And that should kill everyone. Hmm. 
Now, I'm pretty sure that's the way you're supposed to do it. But it didn't give me the clear. Which is a little annoying. But that's okay. We still cleared it. And I'm pretty sure we cleared it the intended way. So. Let's proceed once more. Let's take the elevator down. Just a bit further now. Just a bit further till what, Haiji? Alright, before we head on, there is another room for us to go in here. Here's the collectible we're looking for. A thorough investigation of Genocide Jack. With a mastery of killing that can even be called artistic, Genocide Jack changed the world. The rumors about him that flutter about are innumerous. Online they talk about him as if he were a mere urban legend, however he really does exist. In this book we address the rumors, study the motives, and created the killer's profile. Genocide Jack is alive. Amazing. I didn't know you were so famous they made a book about you, I'm surprised. Does it really matter? <laughs> well, thinking of you as a celebrity makes me want to act more formal. Nothing. Being famous for something like this doesn't make me happy at all. I wish I never had the other me. <laughs> but why did Genocide Jack get into you in the first place? Huh? Get into me? What are you talking about? Um... I mean, identity disorders are like that, right? Was there a reason for it? Like, maybe your soul switched when you got hit by a truck or something. There's no way something that ridiculously sci-fi would ever happen in real life. It's true that she's inside me, but she didn't come in from the outside. She's more like a personality I created out of suppressed emotions. That sounds kind of sci-fi to me. But if that's the case, what was the reason you suppressed your emotions? My mother. It's my mother's fault that she was born inside me. I never thought of them as my real mothers, not even once. Wait, them as your mothers? Don't you mean your mother and your father? I'm a novelist, I wouldn't misspeak like that. I said them and I meant it. I have two mothers. Oh, did your dad remarry or something? No, no he wasn't married to begin with. Sounds complicated. At the hospital where I was born, a baby born at the same time as me died from a medical accident. That's not so uncommon, however, through some mix-up, the hospital wasn't able to determine which mother's baby had died. And that's why I have two mothers, you get it now? But wait, wouldn't they be able to find out which child was which with a blood test? But... Both mothers declined the exam. A loving mother wouldn't want to face the possibility that the baby who died was theirs. But both of them wanted their child to die. They also discovered that both women had slept with the same man. Of course, that would be my father. I mean, who would have thought that an ugly, impure woman like me could have a player for a father? That was a prime opportunity. You were supposed to object to the ugly and impure part. You making that face is just making me feel worse. Sorry, Sorry I just can't even imagine. Anyways. Anyway, because of all that, my daily life was full of stress. For a while, I turned my negative feelings into novels, but it got harder and harder. To release the feelings I couldn't bury within my novels, Genocide Jack was born. Um. Wow, that's a pretty amazing story. Well, well I'm sure my extraordinary birth helps a lot with writing extraordinary novels. But thinking back on all of it now, I don't think it was that big of a deal. Um, Toko? Oh, don't you dare get weirded out by my story and try and change the subject now. You're the one who asked, so you gotta wallow in these bad memories with me, damn it. No. No, it's not like that. How should I say it? I like you, Toko. <laughs> huh? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, sorry, that came out a little wrong. I like you as a friend, Toko. So what did you want to say? Forget it. I was going to keep going on about my misfortunes, but I seem to have forgotten.
She likes you as a friend, Toko. <laughs> sure. We've got a save point here, which I'm actually going to use for once, just because we have it. It's not our last save point of the chapter, but nonetheless, nice to have. So that's everything there is here on the second floor. Let's move down to the third floor. Here we are. Third floor, slightly different to the first two. The lasers aren't moving, which is nice. This third floor is a little bit more linear than the first two. There's pretty much only one thing that you can do here, other than going out of your way for a couple of collectibles. And that's the way down that we need to be heading towards. But I think uh, you might have worked out what they're making here by now. And also, there's a collectible here. Product development document. The following series will be developed into five types, including the prototype. Currently planning on investing each into general office work, goods work, bodyguard work, rescue work, and cleaning work. As the series becomes more popular and recognizable, we will expand into other horizons. So I think by now it's quite obvious what is being made here, though Kamaru hasn't picked up on it yet. But this document implies that they weren't intended to be killing machines. What should we do? We can't move the elevator like this. Don't worry. If you input the password in the management room, the lasers will shut off. The management room is at the back of the conveyor. We should go there first. Just a bit more. If we can get to that elevator, we can get to the deepest area. Once we're there, the trump card is ours. Jeez, this sucks. I'm starting to wish I just left. So there's a collectible there that we can't quite get yet, but we will be able to as soon as we clear this floor. It's just like I thought. I have seen these things before. Why is something like this being made at a Toa facility? What you got to say, Haiji? Nothing? Hmm. Let's grab our new skill, Envious Body, our final health upgrade. That puts us at six hearts maximum. Very nice. And then let's head over to this management room that Haiji told us about. And in case the final health upgrade wasn't enough of a hint, we are getting towards the end of the game now. A body? Just like I thought. What? You expected this? Explain! This guy wasn't killed by a kid. He was killed by a guard Monokuma that went haywire. This is a problem. He's the only one who knows the password to turn off the lasers. Then what are we gonna do? We gotta find that password somehow. I'm sure there's a clue or something in here. We can't just give up. Well, come on, don't start complaining. Let's just do this. If we input the laptop's password, the lasers should turn off. Check this place from top to bottom. Then we'll find it for sure. All right, let's check this out. Please type in your password. Hey. We put the password in here to stop the lasers. B but there's no way we could possibly know what that is. We gotta look for a hint, there's no other way. After getting a good look around, let me know, maybe I can think of something. I don't really expect a punk like you to come up with a bright idea, but thanks anyway. It really is useless. So we've got a couple of clues here that will help us work out this password. It says, the password is my son's birthday. What's going on? Wow, actually writing down a password like this? How technologically impaired are you? Should I use this to log into some shady mail order website? Toko, why do you know about shady mail order websites? Don't Just shut up, that's not important right now. <laughs> anyway, we get the password if we can figure out his son's birthday, right? And over here's our second hint. Happy birthday. 
Something's written on the bloody photograph. Happy birthday, 69. Nice. Eight. So cool. With the blood on it, it doesn't feel like a happy birthday picture at all. There is another hint up on the wall there that we can't actually interact with, but it is there, so uh, just remember that. So cruel. This is far too cruel. This is the, worst. the fact that I'm starting to get used to this kind of thing disgusts me. Huh? huh? What's this? A passage is written in the bloodstained notebook. The third Saturday is my son's birthday this year. I can't wait to spend time together. I can see my son and my wife's smiles in my mind. What should I buy for a present? Um, I wonder if he was able to spend time with his son on his birthday. Anyways. No time for tears right now. Hmm. We searched through everything that looked interesting, right? You're right? We should be able to guess the son's birthday from all the information we got. Um. Hmm... His birthday's the third Saturday, with the numbers 69 and 8 on the photo. Ah, that's not enough info at all. You're kidding me, right? Hey, don't give up now. <laughs> I can't think of anything yet, but talk to me later. I might think of something. So you can talk to Haiji if you need a hint, but... As it shows on the wall there, the 69 in the picture isn't the number 69 at all. It's actually the, uh, the zodiac symbol up there, which is Pisces, I think. I'm really useless at um, at the Zodiac, it's Cancer. I have it on my notes, that symbol is Cancer. So using the information, if you have a clue about the Zodiac, you might be able to figure this out. I'm totally useless with these kinds of puzzles, and if you watched the series that I did on Danganronpa V3, you'll know I really struggled with that Zodiac puzzle as well. I did eventually work this one out though, and to save you all the struggle, because the Zodiac symbol is Cancer, that means the sun's birthday has to be between the 22nd of June and the 22nd of July. Therefore, the 8 in the picture must be part of the day and not the month, since the 8th month would be August. Which means it could be either the 8th, 18th, or the 28th of either of those months. Knowing that the birthday is on the 3rd Saturday of the month, that means we can narrow it down to being between the 15th, which is the earliest possible 3rd Saturday, and the 21st, which is the latest possible 3rd Saturday of the month. Adding that to the information about the 8, we know that it has to be the 18th. It can't be the 8th and it can't be the 28th. That leaves us with the simple choice between the 18th of June and the 18th of July. And unless there's a hint there that I've missed, I believe you just have to guess. And the correct answer is the 18th of July. So, 0718. Now we can get to the deepest part. I knew I could trust you guys. You sure talk big. You couldn't even look us in the eye a while ago. N no, no. That's probably the most elaborate puzzle in the game, and as I said, I struggled with that one a lot. I guess part of why that's so tricky for some people is because I think the Zodiac is a bigger thing in Japan than it is in the West, and beyond that as well, in Britain, we present our dates as day then month, whereas this is presented in month then day. That caught me out as well. But anyway, we've now solved the security puzzle, and it's time to head further into the depths of Toa Factory, but we will do so in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.